This past Saturday, the South Virginia football team suffered a narrow defeat to Norwich University. Despite a slow start and falling behind 8-0, the Seahawks rallied to be in position to win the game thanks to some big plays and tenacious defense. The toughest part is that we're making little mistakes, and the little mistakes you know, start adding up. Uh, but the team showed resiliency and started battling back. The Seahawks' defense only allowed 18 yards on the ground and had a school record 17 tackles for a loss. There was one series where they went backwards on every play. So they ended up punting from like fourth and 16 or 17. And they went a yard or two back on every play, which was awesome. Joey Moriello picked up right where he left off last season, rushing for 140 yards and a touchdown. It goes to, because of the, uh, the offensive line up front, doing a great job. You know, uh, Elian Tufford, uh, Kyle Wisniewski, Michael Saunders. Blake Guerreri and Pete Noonan doing a great job up front, and I think that makes a, makes a big difference when you have the boys up front getting, uh, getting some extra push. Matt Sylvia's pick six in the fourth quarter gave the Seahawks the lead, but the Cadets scored again with under two minutes to play to go back in front. Trailing by three and faced with fourth and seven from midfield, Tyler McGovern used his elusiveness in the pocket to keep the play alive and connected with Ryan Lawton 39 yards down the field to put the Seahawks in scoring position. After three failed passes to the end zone, the Seahawks set up for a game-tying field goal, however the Cadets' defense had one last play in them, blocking the kick and hanging on for the road victory. Next up, the Seahawks host Montclair State in another non-conference matchup at Topa Field. We've had some great competitions against them in the past, you know, so it should be a very exciting game. Um, we'll, we'll find out how this one is this Saturday.